Hi everybody, my name is Jessica Holyfield. I'm a professional dancer, professional dance choreographer, and dance educator based out of the southeast of the United States. And I got my VPN camera here on my laptop because we're taking a look at some auditions from the second season of Street Dance Girl Fighter. It is from the second episode. A lot of these auditions we didn't get to see in the actual episode. I have been doing a full episode reaction and so I had had a chance to tackle some auditions already that weren't shown in the initial showing from earlier in the week um, and I got to release those earlier I think yesterday um, and it's really nice that I get to take a look at them here. If you want to see any uh, context behind um, any of the episodes that we are watching together, I have that all on Patreon. That is exclusive to there. But these excerpts are for everybody. So we're going to go ahead and check these out. Okay. Next we have Charm. Chum. Chum. <laughs> Na, 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 is a female version of a hustler. Ah, okay. Great energy from my center feature on that. Yeah. They're definitely on the cleaner side for sure. A oh, little stumble there for my center. Okay. Yeah, that was nice. I love that queen, how she dropped it back. Hey, a little bit off on center on that. Okay, so not everybody's hoodies stayed uh, on or hood stayed on their head there. So there's just a couple of little stumbles, but overall, I really, I really like the cleanliness of it. It was definitely on the cleaner side than some of the other crews that we had seen already. But having this energy, I like that here. Eh, doom, doom, hating that the way they do. It's really nice setting the stage very well. That right now, nah, 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 boom, and then they triple hit it popping off great choice of the fact that they're that they're uh, not wearing their hair back you're really able to have that extra texture to work with the fullness and i love this uh da 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 da, da boom 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 like having that legato with the torso was super cool here in my middle she freaking bodied that hustler oh uh, like that was so nice to see from her and everybody else did well but like how she ugh, like that was filthy love that yeah they're doing it again now do i think they have a little bit of repetitive um repetitive movement they did repeat it but how they chose to do it is they chose it more like as an add-on mm, which i totally think is fine when you think about it uh didn't really quite bother me as much either with that specifically i love that boom boom and the pull through and they did through yeah, and, and having them, a lot of them have a lot of fullness as they pull through their energy as they come up in their transition. So I would say my one note, as I did notice one of them in particular, she stood out. She was able to hold it and stay stable in it, but not everybody hit it the exact same way she did. She was very full, and I could tell a lot of it was natural in her flexibility as she came up. That'd be my one note for her to kind of understand how to hone in and use more strength behind that flexibility to come up to help stay in tune with everybody else. Because remember, it's a group not a solo so that was just that was my little cohesion thing i love that right there she said stop the track boom notice she stumbled on that left foot that does affect the cleanliness of the impact of that visual yep and they are choosing you know like this they're using this type of imagery a lot which is subtly different but whenever you have the same track and you do it within three eight counts and it's not different enough that's it's you're kind of we're kind of doing a little bit of this like we're counting our our kind of isms that we're already seeing and with a show like this i know depending on the crew what they're looking for some of them look for performance and presence so for me they may care more about that in their choreo some of them may care about the choreography and the composition of it some of them may care about the execution of it meaning the cleanliness more so the performance so and also know that these mentors are humans and there's a point if they did this earlier in the day or later in the day where they've gotten different results 
probably. And that's how I feel about feedback. Um, if I if I think feedback was later on in the day, they could have seen different results is really what I feel. But whenever you're first off, you know, you have a more clear mind or you have a more, uh, your mind isn't saturated in so much. And so you're able to make more objective opinions or you normally use your first group as a baseline which is you know that's how queens was you know i think uh from the first season so i so i think all that to say with all these groups regardless if they made it in or not i i don't know if they made it in or not i don't remember but it's just there's always so many different factors that can play into whether or not a group will pick them you know and and i don't think we got to hear the feedback on to why they got in or didn't get in because normally we would hear that we just see the full cam and we just kind of have to assume even though i watched the episode already i still don't know you know bless it but having the energy that bleed through but uh, it just feels like we're either missing a member or we're just off on our formation so that's my that's my big big note here and i can and it kind of feels like they're that we're just kind of dealing with it you know it doesn't feel like they prepared or oh no like i wonder if it's getting in their head oh no our formations are starting to get off and they're not like they're not holding it down the whole time that beginning was so freaking fierce but now here it just feels like content you know because notice how her energy changed even though that was still powerful but notice she's just you know it's more of a safe face kind of energy they're giving more so than go for it now that was a nice moment that they had with the kick but notice that they weren't close enough to really get that visual and bring it to life and they're having their own little moments as they drop they're also choosing to hit a way more staccato pocket with it, which I like because it is subtly different. But how they're bleeding it through is very similar than than the times that we had already seen. Also note with that split, she hit and rebounded off of it, which meant that she just used her adrenaline versus having full competency within it or her adrenaline affected her execution. So that would be a big note. That little shh right here. Formation is slightly off. I do like how they, you know, it's, it's great to operate the group of seven, but notice it's still pretty off, meaning that if we're using this line as a reference point, that would be your center. It's either they're too far in or they're too far out. So that's just my overall note. It could be because they're missing a member that could solve a lot of these problems, but not 100%. I like that pool. That was a nice moment. That right here. Da -da 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 -da. So that was nice building the energy, but one of their hoods came off. Yeah, da 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 da, boom. And you know, the energy was really nice seeing that. Yeah, like I do like the transition of the energy that is enjoyable. Seeing this here with what she's doing, she's really presenting. And I think it's nice to see different a different tone from them. So I think this really worked in their favor because if we kept with Beyonce, there's a really good chance that they would have dropped off um, because they were starting to show symptoms of that with some of their formations and some of their repetitiveness and their textures. But noticing this here, we have different dynamics in play, different textures and different postures because the track is different, which I think is really helpful here. Yeah, da, 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 da. my one note, I really wish they would have used their rock and their torso more to make that more full. Yeah, there we know. Here we go. Once again, we've already kind of seen that whenever she was in the center. I don't know if it's the same girl or a different girl, but we've already kind of seen that. They threw it. So having her do it in the back, it does tailor and placate well to what we just saw, but it doesn't discredit the fact that we've already technically seen that already, I think. Well, now, hold on. Now I got to, like, verify it. This part's fine. That part's fine. Yeah, she does the point. That, that's my that's my point. <laughs> is uh, She already did a point like that in the front. And I think it's the same girl too. Maybe. No, different. It's a different girl, but the, she does it too. So I think if in, in the same arm. So I think if they just switched it up just a little bit, one of them did more like a hand. Well, they already did the hand a lot in the first one. Just like a throw with a fist, something different that, that wouldn't have registered so similar here. Yeah, that boom, 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 boom with the extra reverb at the end. So that was really nice. Just my one note. I think it's really, I mean, it's unfortunate that her hood didn't stay up. But I think that was a pretty solid run. They were definitely on the cleaner side. So I have no qualms with that. Um, There's just some formation issues, maybe some stability, stability things in that beginning. And a little bit re repetitive fingerprint about halfway through both of those mini sets that we saw but um i'm i'm gonna assume that i think that there's a good chance that they probably got an in for sure
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more Street Dance Girl Fighter content, whether it's season one, season two, or full episode reactions of either, I have that on Patreon. I also have Street Dance China season six actively being reacted to, and most of that stuff can't even make it to YouTube just from sheer copyright. Um, and if you want to check out any of that, as well as I have K-pop and any dance content in general, I love watching dance regardless of where it comes from, um, because I think it's just, there's just such beauty and art from around the world. And I'm very excited that I get to do that here in this position with Korea, Street Dance Girl Fighter, and abroad. So this has been awesome. I am Jess, and I will catch you on the flip side. Bye.